Welcome to the Dice Gods, my name is Hydra and welcome to our first video of 2023. We're going to start 2023 as we sort of ended 2022 before bouts of plague and disease ravaged the team by taking a look at Bulge British, in this case specifically infantry. And today we're going to be talking about one of the weird issues that new players have when they start the game that they figure out relatively quickly but with some pain and then you forget it was ever an issue. More on that in a minute. First a big thank you to channel supporter tabletopper.nl for supplying the miniatures you're going to see us using today. They are one of the largest European suppliers of wargaming goods and they ship across the world. We have used them for Flames of War, Infinity, they're also the kings of bolt action and much more besides. So if you're looking for some new hobby supplies, please check out tabletopper.nl and let them know that we sent you. Now back to the infantry. What we're actually going to be looking at today is how you get from two sets of sprues like that to these guys. Now, I don't mean the painting, I don't mean the basing. What I'm talking about is physically which of these go onto there and how to make these. Because these sprues contain 48 miniatures, but to build the contents of these bases, you're going to use 31 of the miniatures. Which ones? Which ones do you need? Which ones don't you need? Which ones should go where and how and why? And there are questions. And when you're a newbie, you will have a look in the book and there's a description and you'll read that and that will sort of seem a bit confusing, even though it makes perfect sense in hindsight. And inside the box of the Comet Armour Squadron starter box, which is where these miniatures come from, you'll find another how to build it guide. And it just seems a bit odd. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. And there's that moment of doubt and dread and confusion. And how do we get there? So <clears throat> I thought we would put this quick video together and explain which miniatures you use, where, how, and why, to make a full set of these bases up from this set. Now, this idea, these concepts apply to any other infantry in Flames of War. Once you've kind of got the, the method of how they work, it all makes perfect sense. So first of all, what should we have to be built from this set? Now, this, these two sprues are a British rifle company and they are used for pretty much anything in late war British and I think some mid war as well that isn't a para. So unless you're buying paras this is what you're getting pretty much. And within the Comet Armoured Squadron what you have is a full kangaroo rifle platoon, details on screen, so that will be seven Bryn Grun and SMLE rifle teams, a Piat team and a single two-inch mortar team. So that will be a mortar team, a PA team, and these will be the seven Bren Gun and SMLE rifle teams. Awesome. Great so far. So let's deal with the easy stuff first of all. First, let's deal with these two ones, because that's nice and simple. We have a mortar team. These guys here, the guy Loading mortar and the guy holding a mortar, that's your mortar team. So you put one of each of those onto this base. You will see that you have a duplicate set here. You're not going to use those. Those are going to be your first set of waste that you're not going to use. If you have a spare base, you can stick them on that for later and, and use them as a spare set. That's all well and good. But for what's in the box, that's all you're actually going to need is those two guys there onto one of these. So that's our first base done. For our second base, we are going to look at the Piat team. Now, that consists of the guy here with the actual Piat launcher, and this young man here who's got the ammunition. So they're very distinct from the rest. The mortar teams and the Piat teams are very distinct. And again, you have a spare set here. Um, the Piat team is certainly useful. There are certainly certain formations where you can buy extras and things like that if memory serves so it will be worth having those if you get a spare set of bases but that's those two covered off. Next we have this stand of three. 
This is going to be for your unit leader. And what you will find on here is a set of NCOs, so non-commissioned officers. And they are the guys with the little submachine guns here. So we have one here. There's another one yelling at everyone because that's what they do. Um, where else have we got one? Over this way. Yep, there's another one there. So you've got these three NCOs who you can use to make your unit leader. You can also, if you're feeling fancy and you want to, um, mix in other SMLE rifles and things like that so it makes it look a little bit more cohesive. If memory serves, that's what I've done. So on our unit leader, we have the back here, the NCO, the SMG doing the yelling, and then a couple of rifle guys stood with him to make out the base. That makes that that makes this back this stand here. And what you'll notice is in the platoon we have seven bring guns and SMLE rifles, a Piat and a two inch. So this guy actually counts towards the seven, because we have six bases here plus the three. So this counts towards the seven, and you will always need a base of three to be unit leader in any infantry platoon you put together. So that's essential, you will always have that. That's gonna be him done. We're then onto these guys. This is going to be a mix of the SMLE rifles, smelly rifles as I understand they were also referred to, which you're going to find all along the bottom here, and across the top here, uh, there and there, and also over here. So you've got lots of guys with SMLE rifles, but also they have a Bren gun. Now there are only on this sprue two Bren guns. This one here and this one here. So across these two sprues you only have four Bren guns but you've got six bases. That means that not every base will have a Bren gun on. That can be quite confusing the first time you come across it and it's something that you'll find regularly on certain Flames of War infantry that it will list a sort of infantry support weapon of some description, a Bren gun or MG of some description for the Germans, whatever, but you won't have one per base. You will have a number per platoon, but not one per base. So on these guys, you'll put a mixture of the SMLE rifles and the Bren guns, four Bren guns in total. Stick one per base. I wouldn't stick them all on one base. And um, when you've got guys like the Piat and the Bren gun here that are laying down, that's what these blanks are for. You drop those into the gaps that they need to lie over so that they're laying on flat, flat ground. It's a lot easier to stick down and means there's not a dirty great hole underneath them and all that kind of stuff. So with those four Bren guns, the rest topped up with uh, SMLE rifles, and your unit leader, and your two inch mortar and your PR team, that's your bases glued together, you're done. The sharp eyed amongst you will have noticed that we also have these three here who haven't been mentioned. What these are is two officers and a guy with a radio. Those are for your commander base. Now, those are basically company HQs. If you have a full formation of um, Kangaroo Rifle Company, then you will have a company HQ which will consist of two of these three bases, three man bases. So then you'll use a combination of these and NCOs, and if you're feeling like it, SMLE rifles, to make up your uh, company command effectively to, to lead the formation, but those miniatures are specifically for that. You wouldn't just use the generic NCO to do that. In fact, I've done exactly that right here. These are the formation command for my kangaroo company. And there we have the officer at the front there, looking all bossy. The guy with the radio stood behind him, looking all chatty. Um, and then some NCOs and SMLE rifles to go with them to round out the company HQ. 
So there you go. That is how you put those bases together. And yeah, when you first see those descriptions, when you first see the way that the manual suggests you put them together, it can be really confusing and a little bit worrying that you're sticking them together incorrectly. I would kind of say that it's your game, it's your miniatures. If you stick them together wrong and the wrong one is on a base, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's a hobby, these are figures, it's not the end of the world. But we all like to do it properly, we all like to do it correctly. And in that circumstance, as I say, you're going to end up with lots of leftovers, you're going to end up with plenty of NCOs, you're going to end up with a couple of officers kicking around that you're not going to use. And in the Comet Armoured Squadron, you're also going to end up with a uh, extra 2-inch mortar and an extra Piat team. And you're not going to have a Bren gun on every Bren gun stand. That's fine. That's exactly how it should be. And when you come to build infantry for other armies, it's going to be exactly the same. It's not a problem. Don't panic. It's all good. We hope that helps and demystifies a little bit of sticking together your bases for infantry. Once again, thanks so much to the team at Tabletopper for the support in making this video series. If you're enjoying what we're doing with Flames of War, very soon we will have our Spring Offensive series coming out for Flames of War, which will cover getting started with the game and lots more besides, including some battle reports, so keep an eye out for that. As ever, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Leave us a comment down below and let us know if that did help and clear up what's going on with Infantry and Flames of War. Um, if you really like what we're doing and you want to see some of the more exclusive stuff we've got coming up, please go over and check out our Patreon. The link is below. Thanks as ever to our existing Patreon and we will see you all again soon.